hello feels like it's been a while um the lighting is different today because i didn't bother setting up the ring rig and um a selfie light and um, we've got some sunlight over there so a little bit different i, I noticed that i'm both shade is that my glasses yeah i think that line is from my glasses so that'll be fun i could change my angle slightly but then we'd get more into review angle and this is unboxing angle so um i have my um my sign here it says at phoenix love which is my twitter but again I'm, you can't really see it from over there so i thought it'd be kind of neat to have those because like a, it's the uh oh, goes up. it's the board with the holes and you got the lots of letters i have other lots of letters but i can't remember where I put them um but yeah the only place we can put it is here and that's a bit too far away but there you go so that's that's what that is in case you were curious hi i'm tired have i mentioned did i mention my hours are changing again like they've kind of settled down but my partner's been off work um which has been fun so originally he booked three weeks off to go traveling but obviously the world caught fire so he can't do that anymore and so he's sort of been home and that's fine but when I've got an early morning and I just want to just get on with it he's there and so yeah that's been the whole thing but anyway wizardry a t-shirt usually not kind of art print of some description um this month's this year's theme is pins so there's gonna be a new pin which if my theory holds out about how they're doing the pins it's the first few it might be somehow related to ron because the last two were related to ron and it's there's a weight to it so maybe maybe a, a model or a drinking vessel or something but uh yeah so let's, let's have a look let's see what we've got in today's magical box there hasn't been um a classic box for lot one one because i haven't had january's box yet and two because i've had to pause for a couple of reasons um mostly financial because although my money i've gotten good hours recently like january's money was really light because i didn't have the good hours and then like i've been kind of catching up with myself so yeah um but yeah i had january for some reason which i should have had and then the last two i've thingy this is really cool so this is the t-shirt and this is them raising their wands for um for Dumbledore that's that's quite sweet that's really quite poignant I like that yeah let's just pause on that let's just have a moment yeah I can't identify if it's supposed to be anyone in particular's hands or just people's hands so yeah R wands raised in honour sweet very cute uh ooh, that's interesting keep that do that for a second oh that's also interesting there's, there's lots of interesting looking boxes and i'll like oh i'll save that one. Oh, no i'll save that one. Oh, i'll save that one <laughs> so now i don't know which one to save and which one to open next so worm dudes worm dudes worm dudes well because i've seen this uh, and it kind of answers okay it does answer the question but in a different way because originally i just thought oh it's an owl so it's like an owl post thing but then i saw ruddy bird which means this is errol which also means this is ron themed or weasley themed because <laughs> for those of you who don't remember i read the book in a while or watch the films errol is the weasley family owl and he's a bit um well old and doddery um so yeah that's really cool and it's really heavy i don't even tell but it's like really thick i'm gonna pop it off the car i don't normally do that but i want to get a proper weight of this thing <sighs> these robbery things are really good actually i'll pop it back on the card afterwards because it's quite a cute card because it's just like lots of letters and such but you can really tell that it's like really thick so yeah so it's uh quite thick and really heavy like one probably one of the heaviest pins i've had and i've had pins that have been slightly bigger than this so um yeah that's that is an i like it there's a lot of cool detail in there um it's really i can't remember what breed errol was supposed to be but 
is a lovely detailed owl. So I like that. But yeah, that is the pin. Um, about half of the box, that. And let's go for this one. So we have a spoopy night with some spoopy trees and some kind of spoopy wall. So beyond that, I couldn't tell you what we got. Okay, the moon is only on one side, so. Um, no, no, not a clue. Feel free to add a guess. Um, oh, oh, is that Tom Riddle Senior's um, gravestone? That is cool. That is really cool. I like that. I know it's going to like focus properly, but check out the detail on that. That's going to be a nice one to display. Yeah. That is, I like it. That is very, very cool. Obviously it doesn't have like the, the marker that says whose it is, but yeah, no, that is, that is a very cool Death Angel reaper thing very very cool i like it um hmm. all right let's go with this one that oh it's a chain so it's probably probably a necklace obviously that is the uh, giant slytherin statue um which means it's either be slytherin related but more likely basilisk related because that's what um, that's where the Vesselus was hiding, was inside the statue. So for those of you who read the books and watched the films, what did you think of the way they changed it up instead of having the four... Oh, we are horcruxing it. Um, so in the book, it was a giant statue that most of the action took, case, took place at his feet. Obviously in the film, they sort of brought it up to head level. So what, what do you think of that change? Uh, this is a really good box. Um, it's it's Slytherin's locket. So we've had the gaunt gaunt ring. Now we've got Slytherin's locket. Um, I think the chain is a bit short for my liking. Let me one moment. Okay. Um, that's not too. That's heavy. That's got weight to it. Um. This this box is really good. I mean, I haven't even finished opening it yet, and I'm already I'm impressed. So well done, well done indeed. Okay, so let's just pop that back in. And does it hinge? Yes, it does. Oh, okay, cool. It hinges. All right, so there isn't. It would have been neat if they had like the little fold up note from um, Regulus, but it doesn't. But that's okay. Um, I think there isn't like a catch or anything, but I suppose if you had like a bit of tape or something, you probably could still put a picture or something in there. So, um, yeah, it, it does still open up and, and do that. So, yeah, we've got the um, Slytherin snake on one side and the. Uh, I'm not sure, it looks like more snakes. Could be the gaunt crest or the um salazar's something or other so yeah i'm not sure what that is but it's very cool so yeah now we've, we've got because i think in the other month we had horcruxes obviously i've got a model of harry I've had for a while we've got gaunt's ring we've um, had helga hufflepuff's cut for a while um i have had a diadem brooch not like a full scale diadem um but i have had a couple of diadem items now we've got the, the ring and the uh, locket. Are we going to get Lagini next month? Because <laughs> I've had, I think I've had a diary as well, like as, and again, it's as a necklace, not a full, full size diary or even like a miniature diary. But uh, yeah, this is, this is interesting. Are we, are we going in a direction? Because I like it. Okay, next up we have. <laughs> Speaking of horcruxy things, 
this is, I'm going to go with this being as used as a bookmark because it's quite probably faux leather. Um, but yeah, TMR Thomas Marvalo Riddle. So yeah, it's it's supposed to be like his diary. That's that's cute. <laughs> A um a floppy leathery book uh, bookmark. I like it as an item, but as as a bookmark, I don't like the thicker. I've never been a fan of um as a bookmark, just because they're a bit thicker, and you want your page to be as flat as possible. Uh, I'll show you with my uh, this is my friend's notebook. So if you pop it in there, it will hold your place, but you also see you got a bit of a gap there, and I prefer it to be as flat as possible. So it doesn't damage your spine, but very cool item. I like the design. Okay, I'm guessing the um the print is framed because it's in bubble wrap. That's interesting. And then, lastly, we have Cornish pixies, which come with a choking hazard. All right, not suitable for children three years, only due to small parts which can be swallowed. Fair enough, it, ha it comes with the warning. Although I would have thought it'd be a singular model. Ooh, it's in, um, they wrapped it well. There we go. They wrapped it really well, they put tape around it as well. Oh, <clears throat> one second. <clears throat> the one time I don't have my knife to hand, it is the one time, and to be fair, I almost always need my knife. So let me just there and there. Pop it away because safety first. Oh! Oh, that's really cute. Let me just. That's got some weight to it as well. Ooh! Oh! You, it's metal as well. Yeah, it's cold. That is really cool. It's a little bit off, although it's, yeah. Okay, let me get the right angle. <coughs> that is so neat. Geek gear. This box is amazing. Get to focus on its face a little bit. <coughs> See how shiny that is. The wings. Yeah, no, this, 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 this is a good box. I am very... Immobulous! Ah. Yeah, <clears throat> no, this is cool. I like it. Really cool. I'm not sure where I'm going to hang it, but I will find somewhere. And let's have that hanging somewhere, because that is cool. I like that. This is, this is a good box. Pop it back, it's foam for now. I can see why they've got the choking hazard on it now, because if that chain came loose, it could be... Potentially hazardous. Oh, I was worried for a moment the cheat sheet wasn't in there, but it is. Uh, so yeah, we got a framed image. Uh, just trying to work out if I can guess what it is through the thing. Um, maybe Lily? Oh wait, was it upside down? Oh okay, I was looking upside down. Trying to see what it is. The grey lady? Let's open it and find out. <clears throat> I'm assuming because it's in the bubble wrap, it's actually proper glass as well, not just a plastic one, which is very cool. It's how human, anyway. I haven't really asked yet. I feel, I feel a bit rude. You doing well? You keep, you keep being nice? Yeah? How, how's, how was the thing? Did you get sorted? Oh, good. So it wasn't anything bad then, no? That's always nice to hear. That's always... Ugh. Uh, and how was your friend? Was, were they were they good? They get it all sorted out, yeah. Nice, nice. There we go. Righty ho. Let me just. This is again. Whoever wrote this, you did a good job. Oh, oh, is it Lita? Okay, so we've got medium bubbles on one side. And then we got baby bubbles on the inside. It's a nice frame as well, actually. So you can pop that and go anywhere you want. 
Uh, yeah, it's uh, Little Lestrange. I think that, yeah, that is a glass. Exclusive, framed. Um, yeah, very nice. <clears throat> I kind of still have mixed feelings on the um, Fantastic Beast movies. They're not terrible. The first one was better than the second one. The third one, who knows? Uh, again, I'm not, I don't know. I think I've brought this up before. I'm not going to get too political. And I do think that the way Johnny Depp has been treated has been kind of very reactionary. Um, but that being said, uh, Maz Mickelson as um, as Grindelwald is not something I'm entirely against because I, I really like Maz Mickelson as well. So uh, see what happens. But again, for other political and personal reasons, I probably won't be going to see it at the cinema uh, because I don't want to support people that are kind of hateful and not very nice. Um, but this, again, I don't know the actress who plays Lisa. I don't know anything about her. I'm sure she's a lovely person. And whoever drew this, whoever created this art, it, this is a really nice piece of art. So, yeah, no, that's cool. And that has got instructions for how to do the frame. I like that. That's nice. <clears throat> And then oh, we've got a scratch card, which is probably a money thing because I never do. Did you? Do? Actually, I remember what my little thingy was. Come on, you. Here we go. I've got like a whole bunch of tokens I haven't cashed in yet. I really need to look up about how to cash up. I've probably got enough that I could get a whole free box. But not this time. No win, better luck next time. So the cheat sheet. Hello the you magical creatures and a massive thank you from all of us here at Geek Gear for purchasing the Geek Gear Wizardry Box. It is our hope that these items we have designed and carefully packed for you, this box brings much some joy and magic to your door. This box is amazing. Um, thank you for being part of our growing family. We hope you love the items as much as we love you. Aww. Okay, one's up t-shirt. Like it. License exclusively to the strange print. Like it. TMRDI yeah, TMR Diary themed leather bookmark. Very cute. Pesky Pixie hanging ornament. Love that. Reaper gravestone ornament. Awesome. Legendary wizard locket. Um, we're getting very um legally distinct in some of our descriptions. Have you noticed that? Um, and then exclusive monthly pin. Ruddy bird. Uh, yeah, no, this this is a good box. This is this is we like this. And person of the month is Badger of Witchcraft. So there's person of the month. And yeah, same same um, adverts we've had the last couple of months. True Serum, Lost Toad Found, Wizardry Test Tournament, and Sublime Stationery. Five Galleons. Oh, oh this is a good one. Um, Oh, it's hard to choose. The favourite item, I like this. I like that we've got a locket. That's very cool. Um, because, again, not wanting to support official, like, like officially, officially licensed merchandise. Uh, I, I guess even this is probably a grey area. Um, like, stuff like Noble Collection, partly because I can't afford Noble Collection, but also because, um, you know, where money might end up. Um, yeah, this, this is a very cool item that I didn't think I would have had otherwise. Ah... Uh, I'm sort of torn between these two though because this one I really like and this one I think is really kind of clever so it's like they're both really just detail wise and you know, the creativity I like, I like both of these and I can't really decide weakest <coughs> <coughs> just, not because it's bad but just because it's a simple item and as demonstrated I don't tend to use leather bookmarks anyway I prefer like paper or card in fact I tend to I make my own so just by default of being a nice item that I'm probably not going to make, get much use out of probably this um I like the picture love the t-shirt the, the badge is amazing if really I'm, I'm trying to imagine wearing this on my jacket and it's just not, not riffing it's like right it's quite a lot of weight going on there and it is a robin themed as well so I'm like <clears throat> yeah if we uh, if we cut up the golden trio over the year, that means there should be another Ron item, and then four of either Harry or Hermione. 
Um, so I'm not sure how they're going to decide who's next or what, but yeah. Um, okay, so here's a fun game. What would the Harry and or Hermione items be? So, obviously we could have Hedwig, um, the Deathly Hallows, because Harry was Master of Death. Um, the Lightning Bolt, but there's a lot of Lightning Bolt stuff. Hermione, we could have Crookshanks. Um, yeah, so thoughts on what themed pins you could have spew. Have spew for Hermione. Yeah, so I, um, ideas and thoughts for potential pins uh, for, for well, the last one for Ron and then for um, Harry and Hermione themed specifically. Um, feel free to add some ideas. Uh, but yes, that is that is today. That is my unboxing. My throat is starting to hurt. <clears throat> and I'm definitely going to waffle mode. Oh, did you did you have a favourite? Um, because yeah, in my opinion, this is a really strong box. And I think you can like look at all those items and go, yeah, that's a strong box. Especially like this these boxes. Okay, I like I like these. They're fine, and they've got a kind of theme going on with the red boxes. But the ones where they put a bit more illustration and design on the boxes, I really like that. <coughs> and yes, I do actually keep the boxes. I've got a box of boxes and I still have no idea what I'm going to do with them, but I have them. Uh, but yes, so I'm going to tidy up and sit my one boots out. And um, yeah, so I'm going to meander to a, a point at which my throat doesn't hurt anymore. So I'm going to go sign off, get a cup of tea. Feel free to do all the like, share, comments, um, all that kind of stuff down below. Because, you know, liking and sharing and subscribing help in ways that you don't realise. Because that's what everyone says. It helps you more than you know. <coughs> but if you have been, thanks for watching. I've been Michelle. You've been... Yes, I've been Michelle. You've been listening. And I will see you next time. Bye. Let's put it